Hey there, Cooney Boy here. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of a CT312 DC inverter TIG MMA and plasma cutting welder. Um, it's the kind you get off eBay. They're relatively inexpensive for what you get in them. Um, oftentimes they come from China. You can get them from the States too for a little bit more. Uh, if you pay the duty and brokerage fees and stuff like that into Canada or if you get it from China there are none of those uh, so let's dig right in here first of all you got your switch on the front it's just a simple toggle switch it does the TIG your stick or your plasma cutter um, your variable control for um, amps and whatnot obvious on off switch LED light um, this is the cord that goes out to the stick, and this one is for your ground. Um, then, of course, you've got your TIG and plasma cutter connections on there. And when you get it, it doesn't come wired usually, and that's a, a law, a CSA kind of a thing. If they sell it like this, they can forego some of the red tape, and you just wire it yourself. Uh, pretty self-explanatory again you get a white which is your common your black which is your load and your yellow green stripe in this case is your ground um, normal 120 kind of power source here's your wand for the stick portion and your ground it's a shiny chrome it's fairly solid but it is not at the same time as you can see it's fairly thin where the clamp uh, hinges are so it will wiggle side to side a little bit but I mean if you're not a professional welder using it as such if you're just hobbyist and stuff like myself that's more than you need all right let's take a look at the back here the back connections I hooked up today as I just got it um, I am going to redo it as soon as the uh, Hardware and parts auto store opens tomorrow. Um, as you can see, they're fairly chintzy connections. Um, the hose that comes with it, etc. The gauge, it's all as you would expect for the price. It's inexpensive, right? So you get what you pay for. Um, this one came with the two hose clamps. Uh, one was a Phillips and one was a slotted for some reason. So you'll need two different types of screwdrivers right off the bat. Um, I did my connections with um, gas fitters tape, like Teflon gas lip fitters tape, just for that added protection. And I'll do that again when I um, redo them with more skookum kind of parts. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, one thing you will need that they do not tell you in the instructions or whatnot for this is that it does require argon. You have to have an argon tank um, to run it for TIG. That is pretty self-explanatory when you, if you know anything about TIG welding, but the instructions and stuff in some of the ads on eBay and whatnot, they refer to it as compressed gas or um, air, compressed air, and it's not. So you will have to, if you're going to buy one of these and want to do any TIG welding, you are going to have to go to a local welding shop and lease or buy, rent a... 50 or uh, 20 pound argon tank. Uh, here where I live, they're not that expensive. I think it's 70 bucks a year for the big one as a lease and then you pay for your gas. They, when you bring your tank in when it's empty, they hand you a new tank. So you don't have to worry about the expiry of the tank, which is five years on some of them, a uh, year or two on others, depending on your reg local regulations but it, once they expire they will not fill them anymore and they have to be static pressure tested in order to be certified again and that um, costs quite a chunk of change so leasing or renting is usually the way to go um, unless you get some of those little disposable ones but I mean if you're gonna do it you might as well do it right uh, also it came with some extra bits and consumables the kind of thing that you would normally expect with uh, a welder purchase um, different bits and ends and protection and stuff like that uh, this is the female portion to hook into your compressor as you can see it is extremely chintzy it is I don't think I would trust this with anything myself, but it does come with it and you can use it if you want. It um, basically, it will hook onto whatever the connection is that you have and it uh, press, clicks on and then you press the little blue plastic thing to 
pull it back off again. But as I said, it is very inexpensive and I wouldn't trust it myself. So what else do we get here? We got your wands, the torches and whatnot, whatever you uh, wish to call them. Um, again, they are not overly skookum. Uh, top your switch on off etc um, it's plastic it's very flexible it's kind of bendy they're attached with I think you can see that they're small black uh, zip ties um, very very high-tech kind of a thing um, again same with this one they are fairly sharp so you might want to put some tape on them or give them a quick melt with a welder or a lighter sorry uh, so you don't ca catch yourself and keep cutting yourself on there um, they're wrapped with uh, what appears to be blue jean material from uh, like uh, blue jeans and just kind of wrapped around it and sewn on as a sleeve again for the price I'm not complaining it was a couple hundred bucks so you can't go too wrong with that um, what else can I tell you about it it's shiny obviously a fairly nice unit it looks like it's small so you don't have to worry about it taking up a lot of space and it is fan cooled in the back which is something that some of the other welders cheap welders that i've seen online don't have and they're it really affects their duty cycle and i've actually added um fans to the couple of the ones i've bought before uh namely my flux core welder it didn't have a fan on it and i just basically cut a hole put a a guard on the back and a simple computer fan or um, photocopy fan and it increased its duty cycle quite a bit so uh, there it is in a nutshell it is the three-in-one TIG MMA and plasma cutting welder and you can get them on eBay uh, once I actually run this machine up and get familiar with it I'll try and post an update thanks for watching take care